Hello everyone, welcome to SAP Technomaniac. In this video, we will discuss another query option called Skip Talker. Till now, we have discussed about the client side paging. There are two kinds of paging. One is the client side paging and server side paging. We discussed in my last video, skip and top query options that help us to achieve client side paging. What is client side paging? Where the client decide that how much data he want to get from the backend system. Suppose he want to get the initial 10 entries, he will pass the skip equal to zero, top equal to 10, then he will get the top 10 entries. Suppose he want to get the next 10 entries, then he will pass skip equal to 10, initial 10 entries you skip, from the 11 to 20 I want to get, then skip equal to 10, and top equal to 10 he will pass, and he will get the next 10 entries. Like that, where the client decided, or front-end guy who is coding, that guy decide that what, how much data he need to display on the browser or front browser page, we can say. And the server-side paging, it's a reverse, where the backend developer decide the how much data he should send to the front-end. Irrespective, the front-end de developer asking for the entire data, we will send the 20 records or 10 records only at a time. So what we will do, whenever the front-end guy or front-end developer asks for the entire record, we will just send the 10 records. If you want to get the next 10 records, we will send some, along with that 10, 10 records, we will send some information there so they can, he can use that information whenever he asks for the next time, next 10 records. So how it will work, we will see, we will do using the skip token this one. So let's jump into the system. We will try to see how skip token, token works to understand the skip token we will use our same project sales order underscore zero zero two where we have two entities we have we will try to get the sales order get entity set data using the skip token so as you know how to access the service we can pass the entity set name after the service name and we are getting the uh, once you click on the enter you will get entire data whatever the this particular get entity set method is returning. How much data returning? We can check it using the dollar count. You can see uh, we are getting the data from the get entity set method only the 100 line because we have implemented only the 100 line to get the data. We implemented the inline count order by top and skip everything. Today we will try to implement one more thing that is called skip token server side paging so for doing that first we have to know how the skip token works suppose i am getting the data from the sales order header I get entity set method it's returning me 100 order it, it, it should not return 100 order it should return only the 10 order 10 order at a time so server should decide it should be send only the 10 order to restrict that we have to send some value from here. Suppose uh, initially, let me pass dollar skip token, uh, question mark, dollar skip token. Suppose I want to pass skip token equal to zero initially. I want to get the initial 10 record. First time whenever we are hitting the data, if you don't pass also a dollar skip token equal to zero, it will get on, it should get only the 10 record from the server because server should code like this only. So let me, let me put enter on that and before doing that, let me put one breakpoint in my get entity set method. Let me hide this signature and put the breakpoint. And let me do enter to get again the same data using the skip token. Whenever we pass skip token any value, how we can get that is the first important thing. We have to use the same method we used it till now in my previous videos to see here in the debugger you can go to the local variable and you can go to the same place uh, where we have or oh, entire the entire data of our link we can see in the io tech, tech request contacts and inside this we can see in the mr request and double click over here we have all the information over here top escape uh, if you did uh, some filtration everything we can get we, we will try to get where we are getting the skip token value that also we can check from here so you can see in the parameter if you see you can get the one skip token equal to zero value 
to access this value we have to use the same method i u take request there uh, to get the skip token value we have get a skip token method also also there to get this value not only we have to get this value once we apply the we once we send the initial 10 record along with that data we have to send some additional information or we have to send that send the front end guy that if you want to get next records from here onwards you have to start from this point so that value for example 11th 10th record i already sent next time and whenever you, whenever you want to access next record you have to use this 10 value to skip those initial 10 record that kind of information i want to send to the front end guy to do that we have one exporting parameter you can see here ec response context if you double click over here in this something called skip down skip token is there we have to fill that skip, skip token value here so this value the front end developer use whenever he will call the next time the same service with this skip token value and then he will he will get we will implement our code accordingly this skip token value and we will send the next records how it will work we will implement and see this is i just want to show you the uh, importing and exporting parameter where to get the value and where to pass the value to the front end guy let me do affect as of now it didn't work it's getting entire 100 records because we didn't do any implementation skip token select theory options require the implementation I have ready-made code. I just don't want to it's a, it's a spend a lot of time on that uh, because it's a simple ABAP code, nothing much. Just we have to get the value and just we have to pass the value. That's it, nothing else. And we have to filter the value. So we did the filtration in last video. We implemented top skip as well. Now we are, we are going to implement a skip token. I already have commented code. First thing, there is two important things. First thing we have to decide from the server side how many data we want to send in it first time or in what batch we want to send. Suppose I have 100 records or 1000 records. I want to send 10, 10 records or I want to send the 20, 20 records. I have to define one variable called the LB page side. Once this is the first thing you have to do, how much data you want to send to the front end guy. And this is again, not, not, it's uh, just a declaration for entity set as of now you can ignore. And we have to get the skip, skip token value. As I told you, IO tech request will give all the requests. You, you just have to do control space, get skip token. It's the same way how we got the values for the top skip. We can get the skip token value also. Initially, it will be zero when it will call first time. And next time, whenever we send the data, he will use and that that value he will send that that time the skip token value will change and accordingly we have to send the data based on the skip token value suppose initially the skip token value is zero then we have to send the 10 records when next time it will send that skip token value will be 10 then we have to send the skip the 10 records and send next 10 records like that we have to do so i will show you that also that code we have to write once on our final result sets this we can do in our directly in select query also using the up to and offset as well. But uh, if we have filtrations, uh, sorting and all along with this uh, skip token, then we, we will be not applying. We will be not able to apply directly on the select statement. Or you, if you are able to do on the directly those filtering and uh, uh, what we can say order by, then we can use directly on the select options also using the offset and up to rows and that will also work for us. But in this case, because I have already written code, lot of code. So in this case, I have to write some code. Once I get the final result, I have to filter further data. So what you have to do first, since you already know in ET entity set, we have our final result. You can see we are getting the data here in the ET entity set. It got filtered here. It got order by here. And in this case, top and skip, they should not send front end guy. If they send also, we should not implement here. Uh, we, we because we are implementing the skip token, uh, server size phasing and server size phasing and client size phasing both can't work together. So we can comment out this code. It, this should not work. Even they send uh, the data from the front end. Now we have to filter that that our final data, ET entity set data. First, we have to find out how many rows are there. 
and we have to check if it is less than 10 then whatever the error we have to send entire data because it's less than 10 if it is more than 10 then we have to send only initial 10 entries like that we have to do the first step if it is less than 10 we have to count the lines just we can use the lines uh, function to get the line how many lines are there and we can see if there is no data then in the response uh, as i told you we have to update skip token value in the response just we have to clear out or we have to we should not send any value just we have to clear out and we have to come out because we don't have any data to send in the front end so no further processing is required we can come out from this method this is implemented at last you can see after that there is no code so you have to see if you are writing exit the all our code should be above filtering order by everything should be above and obviously skip a token and top and uh, skip uh, implementation should be done at last not the before because once we done filtering once we done order by then only we have to do initial 10 record and then we have to send like that we have to do okay and then if uh, table size is less than page size what we have to do in that case what we have to do we just have to uh, build that from where to where i have to send the data in this case start point should be the skip token uh, if we send the zero and the end point should be the zero plus ten so 0 to 10 record I have to send because I have defined the LVPA size initially 10. I just send the initial 10 records and that should do how it should work. And then what I have to do, I have to loop through the data, a best known my from and to and I just have to send the initial 10 records. And in the response, as I told you, what we have to do, we have to send the last index and index where we have ended. So next time whenever he send that 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 we can use as a skip token value and then from there we can start that also we will see just to make sure control shift greater than and finally we are sending this filtered data here and we are sending the data and response we are sending in the skip token that value yeah i have condensed also so it will accept right hand side so this is how we have to write the code i don't want it's a very simple ABAP code nothing much is there I can paste this code in the description or I can give somewhere link so you can check out in the log also. I will I will put this entire code as well so you can check out in the blog. Let me do control F3 and we will see in the front end how this skip token work. I don't want to spend the writing this code uh, so much time. So that is the reason I have returned the I, I usually don't do but I have done today. Okay. Okay, let me re-execute again. We have placed the breakpoint and I'm, I'm just, I have activated the code. Let me refresh again. This time it should not get entire 100 data like this. It should get only the 10 record, initial 10 record. Let me refresh it out. And if you don't pass the skip token value also, it should get, I should get only the 10 records and I should get next, next value of the skip token. So let me refresh it out. Debugger, debugger will trigger the debugger got triggered so you can see i'm getting the data uh et ntc into entity said i got the 100 records and i'm checking the there is having some inline count okay f7 f6 it's not asking for inline count so i didn't send any inline count inline count also not required you can so do control c plus then here and order by also not required filter also not required i didn't pass any filter also order by also skip token here our code will work skip token first i go to the skip token value skip token value is initial or zero it can be so it is initial so no need to worry so i have to send the i i go to the table size it is 100 entries and uh, what i have to do since there is some values i have to send only initial 10 records so first i check the lv table size is less than page size obviously page size is 10 obviously it is less than so what i did i it should start from the zero zeroth value yani start from zero and it should end at the tenth number so like that uh, like that it should value it should work it should be greater than this one and less than equal to this one and we are looping through the data and we are preparing lt entity set i will put breakpoint over here wait so you, you can see i got only the 10 entries not the other entries initial 10 entries i got and i came out from there and then i put in the skipped open value of the uh, es response i put the the end index that is value is the 10 
that will be sent to the front end guy so they can understand that we got initial 10 record if i want to get the next records i have to use escape token value as a 10 then only i will get the next records that we will see in the front end as well so if you do f8 we got the data but this time we got only 10 records if you can if you want to see uh let me one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten records that's it along with this data we got the skip token value as well you can see if you want to get the next record what you have to do you just have to copy this query option from here Control c and i want to get the next 10 records so i have to write like this question mark dollar uh, not this one dollar skip token value equal to 10 i will pass then i will get the next end code so you can see if you want to see last entry what you have got uh, you got the last entry is a 4983 83 cells or i think 84 is the next one from 84 it should start so let me put the uh, skip token value 10 now uh, front end guy now he will want to get the next page in next 10 records so he will he pass the skip token as a 10 so he should get next 10, 10 records let me do f6 uh, let me go to the uh, code directly here this time let me put breakpoint over here let me do f8 if you see the lv token value here this time we code the 10 and table size obviously greater so from and to value start value should be 11 oh start value should be 10 and uh, end value should be 20 so you can see end value is a 20 so it should be greater than 10 means from the 11th it should start and less than equal to uh, end value means it should end at the 20th value so 11th to 20 record we will get so you can see greater than and less than equal to it should start from the 11th entry because uh, 10th is equal to not the greater than so it should start from the 11th and less than equal to 20 so equal to we have till 20th entry we will get all the data from this one uh, entity set and uh, and we will fill this lt underscore entity set let me put grab point here to do f8 so i got the next 10 record and you can see it is starting for 4984 uh, what was our last entry 4983 so now it is starting from 4984 to the till 4993 we will get let me do i put now next skip token value as a 20th f6 you can see i put as a 20th so you want to get the next page so you should start from the you should send the next skip token value as a 20 f8 so you can see next end code code so it is starting from 49 uh, 4984 we got the first record first record second third fourth fifth six seven eight and in 10 so you can see skip token value you got the 20 you have to pass 20 to get the next 10 records like that this skip token work uh, in this video this is enough we see the skip token in my next video we will get we will discuss uh, something else before going to that video please like this video share this video with others as well with that thank you and happy learning